How to Destroy the Narcissist and Their Fly Monkeys. How to Destroy Them Emotionally and Spiritually. How to Demolish and Defeat Them. If you are watching this video, it's probably because you have been involved with a narcissist. Towards the end of the relationship, they start to smear your name. They start to make false accusations to damage your reputation. They enforce flying monkeys and started a smear campaign. A planned attempt and a deliberate attack to harm your reputation by spreading untrue and unpleasant rumours about you. People who stalk and harass you repeatedly have a personality disorder. In most cases, they are likely to be either narcissists or sociopaths. They are likely to have narcissistic or sociopathic traits and may suffer from narcissistic personality disorder or antisocial personality disorder. These traits are clearly evident from their behavior. A lot of what they do tends to go against social norms. It tends to go against the common standards of what is socially acceptable or appropriate behavior in particular social situations. They are very competitive. They display a strong desire to be more successful than you are. And they have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities or importance. They have inflated egos. They are absorbed by their grandiosity, by their real or imagined quality of being impressive and imposing in appearance or style. They look down on you with an air of superiority. They are convinced that their own beliefs are true and that anyone who disagrees is wrong. They have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and they expect you to see them in the same way. They constantly have to compete with you because deep down they believe that they are not good enough. They are not confident in themselves. They are very insecure. So they have to promote their own self-importance. They think that whatever they think, feel or believe is the only thing that matters. And everyone should conform to their way of thinking. As though their opinion is the ultimate truth. They will even try to form other people's opinions for them. They will dictate to people what they should think or believe. And it revolves around them being perfect and superior to you and you being wrong and a bad person. They are saying that you've done some bad things and they haven't. So you're bad and they're good. That's how they are seeing it. They are always seeking attention from you. They always want you to take notice of them or express interest in them. And it will seem as though they are preoccupied with fantasies of success, money, power, beauty or love. They are always trying to impress you. Always trying to make you think that they are on your level. Or that they are superior to you. 
They need your attention and admiration. All that really matters to them is their image and reputation, appearance and status. And that is why they will often become deeply envious of you. They will want what you have. They will try to take it from you or they will try to sabotage it in some way. Because they are envious of you. They don't believe in the success of the group. Which is why they go against social norms. Because they believe that it's every man for himself. They believe that everyone should look after their own interests rather than considering those of others. And that is why they are so aggressive. That is why they behave in a determined and forceful way. Where they are intentionally trying to harm you. Because they believe it's every man for himself. They believe that they have to look after their own interests. They are entitled. They believe that they have the right to treat you in this way. They believe that they have the full power to punish you. They don't believe that we are all equal. They see you as being superior to them. And that is why they are constantly trying to pull you down. They have very low self-esteem. Which is what causes them to engage in these behaviours. They are constantly comparing themselves to other people. They believe that they are beneath most people. But that they are hopefully above someone. So they have to keep promoting their exaggerated sense of their own abilities or importance. In the hopes that they can then move up and be someone. Because that is what matters most to them. Money, power and status. If they can attack you and keep you down, it puts them higher up. They have to step on you to get to where they want to go. They don't care about how it affects you. All they care about is what they want. They don't care that you have other people in your life who care about you. They don't care that you have a family. They don't care that you're trying to make a living to provide for them. They don't care about your health and well-being. They don't consider that you might want to commit suicide. And that is what most people will do in these situations. In their minds they believe that they are exposing you. But all they are really doing is exposing themselves. And revealing their true objectable nature. Of how they think that abusing people is okay. They think that it is okay to intentionally hurt someone. But they will try to reframe it as though they are trying to help victims. As though they are trying to help people by hurting people. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. They don't care that you have a family. They don't care about how it will affect them. They don't care about how it will affect you. Or that it may make you want to commit suicide. They don't care about any of that. 
And that may actually be what they want to see. Regardless of everything that they have done to you, they count on you seeking their approval and understanding to keep you in the game. They count on you seeking their validation and caring about what they think. They count on you worried about if they're going to judge you or if you are doing something right. They count on you being fearful about being kicked out of their group or tribe. When you are constantly worrying about what they think about you. When you are constantly seeking their approval. You are focusing on them. You are living in their reality. Where abuse is okay and smear campaigns are acceptable. And you will begin to hate yourself for that. Don't live for their thoughts and opinions of you. Don't suppress how you really feel about this situation. When you try to suppress how you feel about something, you will feel depressed. Never try to suppress yourself. Never try to manage the impression you give to other people. When you try to suppress your natural character and personality and filter yourself through the lens of what you think these narcissists want to see, you are disowning parts of yourself. And you will no longer feel good about yourself. Which is exactly what they want. They want you to be different. They want you to change things. Because they don't want you to feel good about yourself. To destroy the narcissist and their flying monkeys. You have to stop living in their frames. You have to stop living in their reality. You have to live in your own reality. When you've come to the end of your life, do you really want to have to look back and wish that you had lived for yourself instead of living for the narcissist and their flying monkeys? You will regret doing that. You will wish that you could have gone back and lived for yourself and done what you wanted to do instead of trying to please everyone else. One of the biggest regrets people have before they die is not being able to be themselves. Not being able to pursue what they wanted to do rather than what everyone else wanted for them. If you don't live for yourself now, one day you will regret it. Stop watching and living in their movies. Live in your own movie and let them watch you. 
let them observe you. Be the one who is being observed rather than the one who is doing the observing. Don't be the one who is trying to expose someone. Don't be the one who is always reacting or anticipating. Be the person who everyone is going crazy about. Be the person who they all get angry, annoyed or surprised about. Be the person who they are trying to expose. Be the one that everyone is reacting to. Be the one who is being observed. Never be the one who is doing the observing. Live for yourself. Live in your own movie and let them watch. Let them criticize you. Let them make fun of you. Let them hate on you. Let them think about you day and night until you preoccupy and fill their mind continually and to a troubling extent. Let them waste their own lives and their precious time on this earth constantly worrying about what you're doing. Instead of living their own lives. You're distracting them from their own lives where well, they are now having to pay attention to you. They are now having to hate on you. And they're not getting anything out of it. All they're doing is wasting their own lives. Instead of resisting or preventing it from occurring, invite it in. Let them be there. Be the observed. Be the one that they are all watching. Let them anticipate what you are going to do next. Let them anticipate how you are going to act or respond and deal with all of the flying monkeys that are hating on you. Be the one that everyone is focused on. Be the one that everyone is talking about. Focus on yourself. Focus on your own life. Live in your own reality. And you will destroy the narcissist and their flying monkeys. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon and receive notifications for my future, future videos. If you, if you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nicefivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.